I don't know, I might get it down. Some of the berries are ready. That's a good one right there. Some of them aren't, but this is super exciting to see that they're fruiting really good. Too. Yeah, we totally didn't stay on top of mowing, so that's another thing. Big old playground. Look at that. like some that are ready and some that really aren't and not gonna lie I'm terrified to walk through all this and something's living there so I don't know if I can like oh my goodness okay this is a big deal for me guys those of you who know me, and I've said it before too, like elderberry, it's almost kind of like sentimental for me. I know it seems a little silly, but I don't know. It's just kind of cool to be able to like, these are our plants now. Oh, these are neat. I don't even know what these are. If anybody knows what these are. What are these? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna attempt. I'm gonna attempt to get some of these down. I wonder if I can set my camera up somewhere. I know, I want that up there. Do you know what I really need to get? Like a shepherd's hook. Crook. A crook, whatever. I don't know these terminologies. But look at how pretty this is. So pretty. Oh, hi. Yeah, got to go. You can't come home with me, bug. What? Okay, so explain what we did. Because it's on Instagram, but it's not on YouTube or YouTube, okay. whatever. See this? And no, this? can you explain from the beginning? Okay. 
In the beginning. Look here. Get down here. Check this out. <laughs> this is so funny. This is our problem right now. You see that? Yep. It's hard to see. A little flange. crack in the flange. Yep. We over tighten this to try to get it to sit flat and it was already warped. So we broke this. So we had to go get a new one. This sits on this like this. And then this piece comes down on top of that. And seals it. And that's what seals it, right? Are you just going to use the same bolts? No, we got new bolts. We got a new one of these and we got a new seal. And so we're going to redo it all, put this on there. And this is a deep well. You can see pump. how cracked it is right there. Yeah, yep. 120 feet deep. 120 feet deep. And we used a fishing line with a weight on the end to determine how, long to determine how deep this is. And then they also measured to see how far down the water was. Yes, water is 35 feet. 35 feet. The table. It's good documentation too, so we don't forget how deep all this is. Okay. All right. Now what? Well pipes attached to the nose. So in order to get the new flange and the new seal on there, we have to remove the pipe from the nose, right? Okay. So we had to pull it up and thread it off, right? Okay. And you're, you've got the, what the heck is the little, the vice grips there so it doesn't fall. This prevents the pipe from falling. Yeah, because the if that falls, then we're done. We're in trouble. We're in big trouble. We gotta take the vice off either way. That means the pipe would go all the way down into the big metal new pipe metal. and we would have to probably gonna, sink a whole new one. How are you gonna get yeah. the flange and the gasket down there without the vice grips off? You gotta thread it down from the top around the grips. Is that the right way? We can put this all back together, then put it on. Yeah, so you can see the notch right here to receive the washer on the bottom. Yeah. Right. Why are you getting that wet? Just to hopefully help it seal better. And you can get back on. Oh, that's right. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's we're why he's gonna, here. We're just gonna hang out. You, can you just really, twist can, the... I don't, I don't have to face this way because no, I the pipe, so... You just find the happy spot. You good? That looks good. I think so. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to over-tighten it. That's, I'm not going to make the same mistake twice. You ready? Yep. You yep. You so you're taking it? the vice grips off? Yep. Huh? You saw a rock. You yeah. saw a rock. Good way. Like it. Blonde purple crazy. Yeah. Hold on. You got the new bolts. I'm definitely gonna die. Yeah. 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 Y
Like, no, no. <laughs> it's like living in the desert. Wow, okay, I was like, why is that so loose? <laughs> Papa. What, honey? How to drop that? How to drop that? I know, sweetheart. Okay, you have to drop that. Hey, I know. It's not leaking. Yeah, it is. Well, no, that's just that's just running over the side. It's hard to tell. If we hit water, it's gonna shoot right back up in our face. No oh, dear. Yeah, that's just leaking straight yeah. out. It's just running out, dude. Oh, it's coming. Don't waste the time. Don't waste the water. All this right here. All right, kill it. Watch out. The water is it hose kink? Here we go. Ah. Hey, that's water coming out. It's cold. Why are you doing that? So it's coming out. We're yeah. good. Did y'all shut it down and turn it back on? It's all the way open right now. That's good. Yeah. There's something you read it said it needs to be under pressure. Remember, PVC ain't like a hose either. It doesn't flex. So there, you got water. Yay! We got water. Yay, Lord. Yeah, did all the testing and everything came back fine. Except it says it's a little bit hard. And it's a little high in iron. What's the 48 hour test you're doing? The 48 hour test is For what? on the back of this. Total coliform. Coliform bacteria color chart. I don't know exactly what it's for though. Now I got a YouTube coliform, what is coliform bacteria. Coliform bacteria are defined as either modal or non modal. I was saying this one gram negative, non spore forming bacterial that possesses something that produces acids and gases under their optimal growth temperature. What in the what is that even? Any chemist. I don't know. Is a group of 16 species of bacteria used to incubate water quality. Indicate water quality. So it's just a bacteria. Can you unplug the uh, pump for me, please? <clears throat> so I'm going to close this. Close this, turn that off, and then we will uh, see. Okay. So we got water to come out and we are testing the water. I hope this is like clear to be able to see, but I just bought a test kit from big box store. So the hardiness is a little bit over. Our chlorine, we're at a zero, which is good. Alkalinity, we're a little bit over 180. pH says that it's okay, we're at an eight. Nitrate, you're okay at a zero. And then nitrite, we're okay at a zero. Copper, we're good. And iron, we are a little bit over, which kind of makes sense. The more we run it, it'll get better. We did also test lead and pesticide. And I did this. These are the strips in. We're reading negative. Oh, that's not supposed to tilt over. That's another test. Oh, there's another one.